morning. Uh, it's a nice chilly morning and it's cloudy, but it looks like the sun's gonna come up and be a nice day. Um, sorry to be a couple of minutes late. I'm still trying to get back into uh, a regular routine. You know, I feel like um, part of the craziness of spring break was that uh, everything was just a little bit different last week. And so I'm still trying to get into my regular routine and today I just want to talk a little bit about um, home. <laughs> uh, I spent a long time away from home last week and so just want to talk a little bit about the, the concept of home today and, and what kind of constitutes that feeling for us. But let's start out with a prayer and then we'll um, hop right into it. Let's start out. Let us pray. God, thank you for today and thank you for all the different ways that you show up in our lives, um, on the good days, on the bad days, uh, on all the days that you surround us with your love in different ways. Sometimes it's easier to feel that love uh, than others, um, but we ask for your presence to always be noticeable um, and that we become aware of it more often in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Like I said, uh, last week I spent a long time away from home and so the last few days I've been uh, thinking about what coming home, what are, what are the things that constitute home for me um, and, and what, sorry, I lost you for a minute. What are the different things that, um, that make a place home? And so one of the things that I, I've noticed is that I do like to sleep in my own bed. And so is there the comfort of calling something your own Thing? Is there the comfort of the um, familiarity with a place or uh, the things in a house or, or something like that? Um, I think also the, the safety of having a roof over your head is, is something that we call home. We, we think about that um, when we think about people who don't have homes. I think that's one thing that Habitat for Humanity is a, an organization that tries to create spaces and physical places that that are home for hang on let me fix this it's trying to reconnect there that should work uh, sorry it was trying to get on my wi-fi and i'm too far away from it but but again a physical place habitat for humanity tries to give a place that's warm and and dry and has a roof over your head that's a a, a home for folks um, i also have been reconnecting with people who, who are in my, my home community, right? Uh, and so are, are people a big part of what you constitute as home in your life? The people that um, support you, uh, that love you, that give you big hugs when you need one, the people that challenge you when you need it. Um, sometimes we come home and we are feeling tired and we just need uh, the people around us to lift us up, that kind of thing. Home is a place where you can feel comfortable, you can rest, you can feel yourself, you can um, be energized, those kinds of things. And so I, this week I have been re-entering a regular routine and thinking about all the different things that home does for me. So I thought I'd just bring that up today and see if y'all have any comments that you'd like to share about um, the feeling of home. When you go away, when you... Um, have to spend the night somewhere else, but then you come back to a place that you would call home. Maybe home is not the place that you live now, but it's a place that you uh, hope to get back to one day. Uh, maybe home is different places in your life at different times. Maybe you um, live in a home now, but then you go home to see family or friends sometimes. And uh, it's such a, an ambiguous concept, but there's distinct feelings that come with the idea and the sense of home. So thought I'd bring that up today and just kind of see what y'all have to say. So I would welcome any comments you have about your own homes and your own life and uh, and what, what kinds of feelings that thing brings up for you. But let's uh, pray and then we'll go about our days and, um, and think about the different ways that God shows up in our lives today. Let us pray. God, thank you for this opportunity to um, continue to, to be together in this way every day uh, that um, 
Pastor John and I have really enjoyed this this chance to have a, a moment of devotion each morning, um, but we also enjoy the opportunity to see people uh, and to hear from people in different ways and um, to connect and have a conversation even virtually like this. So it's just such a, a, a gift to be a part of a community like this. And we ask that um, these kind of moments fill us up with your spirit, fill us up with something to think about, fill us up with something to challenge us and send it out, in, out into the world. And um, today, especially, I, I give thanks for the places that we call home and the different ways that those, those places, those people, those circumstances, those environments um, have built us and have led us to be the people that we are today um, and the different ways that those places and people and, and things um, continue to, to support us each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Uh, God bless.